Okay, this guy is is a terrible, is a terrible, terrible, terrible toy. I mean, he looks great. Uh, first of all, he's a semi truck, which is probably one of the first semi trucks I've ever made successfully. I mean, you guys wouldn't know that much, but I've tried making many different things in the past. One of them being a semi truck, and a lot of the time it doesn't work. But I'm really happy with how this guy turns out for this mode. And the same with his color scheme. His color scheme looks pretty cool. I think it's very Optimus Prime-like, except for instead of red, he's got powder blue. Now, <laughs> the reason why he's so bad is because, well, you'll see. Just wait for the transformation. But for now, let's talk about him. Uh, first of all, his name is Big Stack. Because, you know, he's got his smokestacks here, and he's they're pretty big, I guess. I don't know. I like that name. Uh, and second of all, he is a Decepticon, so don't get that mixed up. Also, I know I didn't actually mention that in the previous video, that those guys were Decepticons, but they are. Uh, but yeah. Um... Yeah, he's a, he's a Decepticon, semi-truck, looks pretty cool. I think of him as a carrier kind of guy, so he travels across, you know, battlefields and stuff, carrying supplies, and I don't know, I guess he probably doesn't like that, you know? But, all in all, it's a pretty good semi-truck. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, the main issue with him is his transformation. It's pretty bad. Uh, before I transform him, I'll give you a couple of shots here. Uh, there's that, you know. You see that? Those are his wheels down there. There's his undercarriage right there. Other side again. Uh, there's his back. Um, and there's his front. Uh, the top of him. Yeah, just giving you some shots of him. And yeah, that's his truck mode. And... I hope you like the truck mode, because you're not going to like anything else about him. Maybe the maybe the robot mode looks pretty cool, but... <laughs> Alright, well, here's the transformation. Oh, great. Okay, so first you're going to want to... I'm going to start at the top. Okay, so you're going to want to take this whole section here, swing that out, and around. Just like that. We're only going to do one side at a time, because this is kind of tedious over here. I do like how this transforms. Uh, next you're gonna swing this bit out, those two right there, you see those? You're gonna swing them out like that, take that up, and then take this piece right here, swing it out, come on, swing out. And then that peg right there will go into that port, and you just lock it in place, just like that. Now it's not moving. Fold that bit down, take his arm, go like that, and... You want to, well actually, keep it up, because you're going to take this bit, fold it down, just like that. <laughs> you can already see some of the bull crap that's happening. You got that. Next, you're going to want to slide this bit through. Sorry if you can't see a lot of this, it's very underlit. Here, I'll flip it over and try to light it up there. Okay. Come on. There we go. That's better. Alright. You're going to take this and you're going to fold this and peg it in right. Come on. It's He's not that bad of a transformation. It's actually pretty fun when you just do it normally. But on camera, it's so bad. I don't know why. Alright. Then you want to take this bit and Fold it out just like that. Then fold this down. Oh, don't freeze on me. Take the arm, fold that out, and take the shoulder pad. Fold that bit up just like that. And there's one of the arms. And let's do the same on the other side. I'll just do this without really giving much detail. You already saw that side. And if you didn't, well, I mean... Just rewind. It's it's YouTube. All right. Ah. 
Don't do that. Don't do that. No. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just get it done. Uh, and there are his arms. Done. Very nice. And next, you'll just fold the head out just like that. Eh, get his neck done. Okay, so the head was back here if you didn't see. You probably didn't, I don't know. You fold it out like that. There you go. Put this back there because that's an annoying piece. Alright. Now on to the title of the video. Pain. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take this section down here, we're gonna split that. Maybe. Come on, split it. Split that, there you go. Go to the back section here. Oh my gosh. Keep in. Thank you. Okay, next, whatever side this part bit's on, it's on this side, so we're gonna fold these onto the opposite side over here. Get both of them. Fold them like that. Okay, nice. Next, we're gonna take one of the legs, and we're gonna, this is probably one of the worst bits, we're gonna shimmy it out, and swing it down onto this bit <laughs> right there. <laughs> you see how it connects there? It's before and after. There you go. Okay, there. I did that. Uh. <sighs> Alright. It's not supposed to go like this yet. Don't do that. Okay, next leg. Next. Fold the arm up. Just get it out of the way. Come on, leg. Do it. Do it, leg. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, next, you want to fold that whole bit up just so that it pegs into place. Straighten everything out. Straighten everything out. Okay. No! It fell off! Come on. Okay. Okay, that's how his legs look so far. Okay. Okay, let's form the feet now. You're gonna take this bit there, this bit right here. You're gonna wanna fold it out, just like that. All right, and then the same on the other side, except this time you're gonna wanna take that bit and fold it up like that so it's flat against the back of the leg. Just like that, there we go. There are his two sections right there, his legs. And finally, you're going to take the wheel, put it like that, and then you're going to want to rotate the thigh. Something I don't do that often because it's pretty hard, and I think of it kind of as cheating, but only in certain circumstances. In this circumstance, I think it's pretty necessary. All right, and then you're going to do the same on the other side. Fold the wheel up so it has clearance. Hold it down, and uh, back, and, and get, <laughs> please, come on, get his stuff all together, and there you go, finally done, there's Big Stack. Now, I do, I do really like him. In all his glory, he is really cool, and if he didn't have his transformation, or if you didn't know it, you would think that is a pretty cool toy. I mean, look at that thing. Yeah, yeah, I think it, I think it looks really cool. Uh, you know, he's got the wheels for his, the front of his legs, actually, if you didn't see that. And the other two wheels kind of form <laughs> his butt. It's funny. <laughs> but funny. Alright. Uh, you can see his smokestacks become his forearms and hands. I think that's pretty cool. He's got the little, little things up here. That's a design I haven't seen very often, where it's just kind of that. Uh, and yeah, I, I like how everything kind of just folds together, and there's really no kibble except for really, really these bits and that bit right there, but that's like it. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Now, let's look at his face sculpt. This was really the first guy that I did that had a decent head sculpt. You can see it's pretty simple right there. You got the back is dark blue. You got this as uh, neon red. And you got the face as just the powder or pastel blue. 
and I think it works really well. This is a, just a pretty cool head sculpt. You can tell it's a head, and it's not too, it's not too simple, but it's not too over the top, and I really like that. Uh, you can also see on his chest, uh, I didn't actually mention this before, but his windshield is actually not blue, but it's white, and it's also not uh, clear blue or clear white. Because I don't like doing the clear blue or white for windshields. It just doesn't look as good. I like doing them in the, in kind of the art style of G1. So, you know, very simple color scheme. Uh, and everything just looks very cartoony. And, yeah. So, I really had no option other than white. And I think it works pretty well for this character. Uh, and don't forget, he is a Decepticon. So, when you look at him, just remember that. And then, when you imagine that, he kind of looks pretty beefed up. Pretty brawny. You wouldn't really want to mess with him. Well, that's actually a pretty good shot there. I like that. Okay, so the main problem I don't like this guy is just because of his hips. Those hips and the transformation for the leg in general. It started out the first time I transformed and I was like, yes, this thing is amazing. But now, now the, the more I play with him and the weaker the joints and, and connections get, the more fiddly he is and the more fall apart he is. He just does not want to stay together a lot of the time. <laughs> but yeah. So, I might I might do... Also, I haven't actually done a Build It video in a while. I might do a couple of those next. But, yeah. I might do one for him. I don't know why you'd want to build him other than he looks pretty cool. You wouldn't really want to transform him. But yeah. Anyway, uh, on to the articulation. And he has some pretty good articulation in my opinion. So, first of all, he can move his head up. And he can move it down, so you can look at stuff there. Nice. Next, uh, his shoulder can move back. He's got a butterfly, and it can also move forward as a butterfly. Uh, he's got another hinge right there that works. It's just the same. And then he also has basically a double, a double hinge at the elbow right there. As you can see, he goes all the way up. And his hands don't really do anything. Re not, not really. And yeah, that's actually some pretty cool articulation for the for the arms. Uh, as with like most of my guys, he pretty much has an ab crunch. It's kind of a cheat. It's not meant to be, but you can do it. Uh, next, uh, he has a weird joint for the hips. He can move it in and not really out. It's kind of weird. Uh, he can't. Uh, if you move this bit back here up. Just like that. Then he can move backwards just a bit. His leg. But uh, if you just want to keep him like this, he can move his leg out pretty far. Just like that. And just a little toe wiggle at the bottom. So all in all, pretty cool guy. Pretty cool articulation. I, I really like him. Except when I don't. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's Big Stack, the Decepticon Carrier. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy any of my other videos. Also, this is just in general for past and future, but thank you all for subscribing a lot. It gives me a lot of courage and really compels me to make more videos. And, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys hit that subscribe button and the like button and share it with your friends. But really, share it with your friends. That would be really cool. Uh, and then the other two that would that would be really nice. Thank you. And also uh, Leave a comment as to who you think I should build next also I'm sorry for all of you who do do that uh, And I don't really do it, but just just think that I'm actually having to build it and then I'm gonna have to film it so I probably will get that video done for if you suggested, like the person who suggested Bumblebee. I can't think of that off the top of your head, but I will, I will make Bumblebee, but I'm just not going to do it really, really quickly, okay? So, sorry if you're waiting on that. Same with you, uh, Charles Unra, I think that's your name. Uh, Optimus Prime, yeah. Uh... <laughs> You could, you could imagine he is Optimus Prime. I don't know. But yeah. I, I will try to get to those. Uh, think of anybody else you might want me to build. Uh, again, subscribe, like, share, whatever. And thank you all for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this, because I really enjoy making these. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.